Boom! What's up, my name is Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol VIH VPC impact acquisition. So this is a stock that has been going um, crazy. People have been talking about it. So I wanted to make sure that we cover the stock here on the channel. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to V. IH or VPC impact acquisition guys. This is one that I'm going to give you guys a disclaimer straight up front. This is uh, one that it's being talked a lot about on social media on Reddit. Um, again, if you go on like stock tweet and all these other places, people are talking about it and pushing the stock. Even here on YouTube, you see some people are talking about it. So again, this is one that I'm gonna very, very I'm gonna be very, very honest with you guys. It's very speculative. There is a potential of a short squeeze, and the reason there's that potential is just because a lot of people are talking about it. So you know how that goes, right? When one person starts talking about it, two people, three people, social media, uh, YouTube, next thing you know, people jump in on the action and squeeze this thing. Uh, again, the reason why I think they're looking at the short squeeze here is because the stock is highly shorted. So they know for sure that once the, the Reddit army start pushing the stock, start pushing the price, their shorts are going to cover their, their positions. And by doing so, they'll be buying the stock at a higher price, which in turn, pushes the price of the stock way up. So that's something that I want to make sure that you guys you know uh, keep that in mind because again, this is one that is no major news out there about this particular stock. It's just the fact that a lot of people are talking about it and then you see this squeeze will come into play. Again, this is a Spark VPC impact acquisition that is in the process of taking Bark, it's spelled B-A-K-K-T, public. So this is again, um, a cryptocurrency asset management uh, firm or company that was created. And so they're merging with um, the VPC impact acquisition to take them public. So again, if you don't know about, go read about the company. This is one that again, I'm trying to push this, make sure you guys understand. This one is a very risky one. Um, there's a possibility here to make some money as well as there's a huge possibility that you can lose money um, off of this. So in my personal opinion, what I see here, my game plan would be, I'm gonna buy this, but I'm gonna put a really tight stop loss. So I'm willing to lose, let's say three to 500 bucks um, in return. Uh, I'll be willing to make between five and 10 grand. So if it squeezes, that would be it. But if it start pulling back, I'll cut my losses so that I don't lose a ton of money. So that's how I'm gonna play this one. So let's kind of take a look here uh, where this stock has been. So if we go back here, just, so this is one day, this is the five days. So notice like this thing was sitting somewhere between just under $10 uh, by the end of August and it doesn't squeeze up. So if you see here, it's it's up almost 12%. Uh, that's about a dollar twenty. So if you see, it's been squeezing up in the right direction and a lot of people again are talking about it. So if we go back here six months, um, this stock back in April of 2021 got to a high of 15 bucks uh, before pulling back now. So you can see here, it's starting to curve back up. And so the whole idea here or what I am reading and watching online and seeing people talk about is the fact that the anticipation is to squeeze this thing. Um, and so you don't want to be missing in on the action. So the, my personal take, guys, this is not one that I'm saying this is a buy and hold long term. I'm just saying there's a possibility here to make some money. So uh, again, go in this trade very smart. Uh, mi just minimize your losses. So if you go in, if it's gonna short squeeze like everybody's talking about, then you have the possibility of putting in a hundred bucks or, or, or 200 bucks and making a lot of money. At the same time, if you put in a hundred bucks, you're only willing to lose 10 and it's, if it pulls back to that 10, cut that losses. Don't let it pass your stop loss. Make sure it triggers your stop loss. In that way, uh, you minimize your losses. So that's how I'm going to play this one. Again, it's looking like it's going to be the stock that people are going to be talking a lot about this week. So keep your eye um, out for VPC impact acquisitions because, uh, again, like I said, uh, if you hear people on Reddit talking about it, um, again, on the Wall Street 
um, Reddit group so that if you, if you guys remember back when uh, GameStop and AMC went crazy, it was because of that Wall Street bet group that I started talking about it. So if you start talking about it, keep your eye, watch it, and look for a good entry point. So right now at, let's say, $11.16, um, again, I might wait to get it at 11 or even if it pulls back a little bit, but you know how the market works with, with stocks like this. You can see it start gapping. So I'm going to put some order and then maybe average my way. Uh, but my whole idea here, if I can get this thing under $11, that would be uh, really, really sweet. So again, stock, stock tweet people are talking about it and it's out there already, guys. So just to give you guys some recap here, this particular company is a cryptocurrency um, asset management company. So people are thinking that this merger is going to go through, which is which is nice. But at the same time, people are looking to short squeeze the uh, spark that's taken in public, which is that uh, VI Asia we're talking about here. So definitely do some research about the company, uh, Bark, B-A-K, KT and just see what they do and again if you don't feel comfortable guys this is not one that I would say buy and just hold uh, with your fingers crossed but if you feel comfortable you know how to use your risk management um, in your trading account and then buy it set your risk management put your stop loss um, and make sure that uh, it's there just in case if this thing starts to pull back then you know for sure you are protected that way you don't find yourself holding a bunch of junk that you don't really care about so again i'm not saying this is a junk stock but i'm saying um for me right now the fact that they're talking about it is an opportunity you can get in and make some money or you can go and not make any money but make sure that you get out as soon as possible if it's not going in your direction so definitely keep an eye um, out on this one. So this is a stock that I'm going to be trading. I don't anticipate buying this one and holding it long term. If I see an opportunity that I can make money, I want to share that with you guys. But at the same time, I want to encourage you to make sure that you have an exit strategy for trades that don't go your way. Even if a trade goes your way, still have an exit strategy because I've seen people uh, say, oh my goodness, I'm up two grand. And next thing you know, they tell them like, oh, now only have 800 bucks. Why? Because they were greedy really savages. You're up two grand. You're not thinking about securing that two grand. You're thinking about you want to be up four grand. Um, and the market is a very, very dirty place. Like you get in there, if you don't know what you're doing, you it would act as if you're making money, but it's going to take money away from you. So be smart. Um, again, if you go in a trade, don't cross your fingers and hope that it's going to bounce back. Put a stop loss. If you're trading, again, this is not investing. If you're trading, um, as soon as it hits your stop loss, guys, don't try to move your stop loss. Um, cut those losses as soon as possible. Give you regroup and then give yourself time to get back in again and, and, and play the trade. But if you let it pull back all the way and then you're sitting there crossing your fingers like, oh, bounce back. That's not a good strategy. So that's what I'm going to be doing with uh, VI this week. I'm going to uh, buy it and put a stop loss and hope that if the shut squeeze comes, hey, I'm in for the money. If it kicks me out, it kicks me out. No harm uh, in, in this case. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about VIH. Um, are you, if you've been reading stuff about it, if you heard about it, or you're gonna be like, hey, this is not my kind of stock. I'm not gonna trade this one. It's way too risky. Again, which is totally fine. Again, let me know that in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Webo still has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit five bucks, you get free stocks. And also the, the uh, cryptocurrency, you can start using that trading shiba on on weibo too so again i'll put the links in the description if you sign up you get five bucks um just for uh trading uh shiba on the platform so again try take advantage of that and as always guys do your due diligence don't be greedy savage stay motivated